Okay everyone, it's me Richard and I'm here to talk about the Jamaica Police Force. Yeah. So how do you become a police or a member of this force, right? You go in, you meet a certain height requirement, you certain educational requirement of course, and you take a test. You pass the test, you go in for tra training. Um, you need to be able to run a mile in like four minutes. Um, you be, need to be able to shoot targets in the head and in the chest. Okay, so what exactly is the problem with our police force then? Well, all of that. We have a force um, of police that are their aim or the objective is to enforce the law. But none of them ever go to law school. None of them know what they're enforcing. And so forth. So we end up with um, police telling you things to do things or things that are a certain way that are totally inconsistent with the law. They have no idea about what it is that they're enforcing. And because of that, we find that they violate people's civil right ever so often right this is a problem and not only is it a problem that they are violating your rights for example stop and search random stop and search that is illegal you can't just search somebody because you want to search them you must have reasonable suspicion as to why you need to search them you need to know what you are looking for before you start to search them. That gives them the opportunity to declare whether or not they have it. But you can't, your reason can't be, well, you don't want me to search you, so I, I want to search you. That doesn't make sense. It's rules like that that prevents the police from stopping every single person and searching them. And also it prevents them from stopping you right after they have just stopped you eh? because theoretically um if the police can just stop you and search you for any for once they feel like it they can stop you search you you walk off they stop you again search you you walk off again they stop you and search you and then you never get anything done Right? Um, and it's important that we understand this. It is a flawed system. These police need to go to law school so they know what it is they're enforcing. Right? Another thing is when they are in training, they are taught to shoot targets in heads and chests. Those are kill shots. Those are not shots that are meant to restrain a, a, a target those are shot meant to kill right so exactly how does that work because their job is to restrain it's soldiers whose job is to kill police job is to restrain and try to bring persons to justice and it's only if this seems impossible that they are supposed to try to kill. And it's almost never impossible. But we always see police killing civilians. They kill civilians with knives, with guns, with screwdrivers in their possession. Okay? Let's talk about a gun. Alright? What exactly is the person doing with the gun? A lot of the time they say the person fired the gun. Okay. We'll give them that. The person fired the gun. But in many cases, especially with left handed persons, they put the gun, you know it's post mortem because the gun. Is fired with their weaker hand which is not something that people generally do and with a knife how can I 
threaten you with a knife if I am feet or meters away from you. Yes, I can throw it, but ra reality is if I'm going to throw it, you are going to see it. You have no need to be shooting um, uh, civilians who are harmed with these things. Another thing, police have this thing in Jamaica where they stop you and they find you with a knife. A rat trick, for example. Now, just having a knife does not mean you intend to cause harm to anybody. Right? I am walking in this knife just in case I need to peel an orange or do something. Do something with a knife. Right? But a lot of people are afraid to walk with knives. Because it doesn't matter what you tell the police, they are going to say, hey, you have a knife, mm -hmm. we're taking you to court, it wastes a lot of time. What is the solution though? Because we have to talk solution. The solution is this. We charge police with wasting the court's time. Whenever they bring in somebody for some foolishness then they are charged out of their pocket not out of their pay out of their pocket if if they have no money then they have to stay in jail until their pay is ready for us to take whatever it is out of their pay and they will not be paid for the time when they are in prison you don't get paid for being in prison. So, if they ain't got enough money in their pay, I'm sorry for them because they're going to be in prison for a really long time. Right? And then this money is awarded to whoever they have wronged because not a lot of times these police waste people time and there's nothing. A lot of times because a police stops you, um for some nonsense lock you up right they locked up the lady who came to report make a report about her son being molested by these kids right and they lock her up a case like that these officers need to pay for something like that why are they molesting why are they molesting this lady in Jamaica we realize that the police they are more inclined to try and um, police for want of a better word harass the persons who are most vulnerable they do not go after criminals men with M16 and the, all these kind of high-powered weapons these police are not going to arrest them they're not going to bother them they know where they are and trust me they do they have the information they're not going they want people who are unarmed and then they shoot them that's what the police does in this country and i'm really really upset to see the state of this force and the reality is that many persons have said hey join the police force or uh, and i am all the attributes in order to do so but when I look into the situation I will become the thing I hate and not only will I become the thing I hate I will most likely die at the hands of the thing I hate because I cannot become that I cannot see injustice somewhere and just say oh well this is how it is right and that is why I am so upset at um, the state of the police force. It's like criminals, they are pr protecting us. It's like the police force, in my opinion, is the largest gang in Jamaica. The largest gang. And, in their opinion, other police cannot commit any crime except when they are off duty. But other police cannot commit any crime. Let me give you an example. Once, because when I was very young, and I had 
about mm, 19 maybe yeah about 19 um a computer a computer went missing well computers i'm not even sure how many at a harcher's nta school next door to a police station next door to a police station and i was arrested as i am in it they took my computer under suspicion when i got it back it couldn't work but however one of one particular day i think that was the either the last day i went back to try and get my computer or the penultimate day one of those days i went to get it and i went with my uncle early in the morning about nine o'clock when i went i saw a bunch of police getting ready to go to court i am almost sure it was a wednesday or maybe it was a tuesday whatever day it was we went with i think we were told that we couldn't get the computer and so we came back um at that time monk was on television so we came back to watch monk and when we reached part way on the road we got a lift and by the time i reached home i'm getting a call remember i said there was a bunch of police officers getting ready for court they want they, they call us back they want us back at the station when they when i go our phone is missing I'm like, okay, so you are saying that we took the phone? They are saying, well, mm-hmm, and I'm saying, what about those other people that I saw here? And they are like, what other people? I said, the, 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 the officers, the, the police, what about them? And they are like, um, do you know what they are? I'm like, yes, they are police, but guess what? They don't have any here in their, their hand middle, right? And so, in their opinion well they had they couldn't charge us i'm not sure what happened with the phone but i'm just showing you they have they don't think that they can do anything wrong they i mean it's, it's as if this is as if we serve them and they don't serve us and i'm really upset at and i think it's going to continue because of how it is um situated now how jamaica is set up it is set up for police to police us and then these police are even asking for more stringent um measures and then when we have offices like in the company that are um developed to police the police these police are saying that in the com is preventing them from policing the poli um the public when they are really just assaulting the public they are really i mean a taxi man for example they spend a lot of time um assaulting taxi men and, and exhorting taxi men and saying hey da 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 you're in a taxi you're carrying your mother you carry out your mother in your vehicle you are running a taxi you are alone in a vehicle you are running a taxi i don't understand how it works but when you see these things it's always you're always running a taxi and they have no regards for the rules of the road themselves right they oftentimes are seen blasting the signs and they're not going anywhere they're not going anywhere they use it on their property vehicle because they get free gas and stuff like that to do their own errands they do not police and then by eight o'clock their station door is locked you can't go to the station when you when, if you live right next to the station and a crime is happening and you call the station somebody even if somebody answers the phone you are lucky and they are not coming until the crime has already been committed they, they are not committed to preventing crime they are committed to creating statistics i would say because the number of unsolved crime in Jamaica, right? And then they are going to ask you to their crime stop to, to come and give information and they cannot even protect the fly. Right? When these men, if you witness a crime and you were to give information, there's no witness protection program, there's no relocation protection program. Right? And when 
you are in danger when you give this information and they don't care they, 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 this police force does not care about anyone and the ministers they, they operate differently under different parties the, for example you have a um i think it's a pmp that allows the killing of people all over the place and the police doesn't don't business and i mean it's always some little petty thing that they want to police and the real hardcore thing that needs to be policed is not police right so i mean asking for a change just a small change and when i say a change i don't mean something to put in my pocket i mean a change of how we police we need to educate our police meaning that they need to know the law because they can't enforce something that they do not know and they also need training in restraining people and I mean, they are always dressed with a gun, a handcuff, and maybe a button. What about things like pepper spray or tear, um, tear gas or um, what's it called? Stunner, no, what's it called? The, uh, I forget what, what they, they call it. But when they equip with those kind of things that that will help in restraining a person as opposed to things that deadly weapons that are only good for one um, reason police don't go to jail for killing people it's very rarely that we see them go to jail for killing people you kill somebody you go on the you go death duty you get your pay right somebody else kills somebody they go to prison or jail and they are there for from 2000 and now their case is still not heard right um so the justice system in jamaica is really flawed and i hope somebody will do something about it